super excited to do this haul with you and it's a special one because um, I ordered this over a month ago. The reason it uh, took a little while to get here is because one of the items um, was sold out and they were waiting um, for a delivery from Japan and everything takes super long these days so that is why um, and then you will find out what the item is because from my understanding it sells out really quickly and it's sort of in high demand so I'm happy it got here and the shop is called choosing and keeping or choosing keeping and I will leave the link below it's an online store and it's uh, the physical uh, store is based in London, central London, and it's very kind of beautiful, very niche um, and kind of luxurious um, art supplies. They they try to find things that are very unique and something that you wouldn't find just um, shopping regularly online. So yeah, I haven't really um, known about them until very recent. And when I did find out about them and I went on their um, website, I realized it's sort of like a great um, gift occasion. So it was still near my birthday. I know, I know, but uh, <laughs> I kind of thought I'll just give myself a little bit more. You know, I had a tough year so far, so why not? Anyways, jokes aside... Um, I am going to, I just literally took it out of a box, uh, they wrap the box, it's a normal kind of cardboard box, they wrap it always in nice tissue paper and they stick these lovely stickers and hand, hand write your address, I can't show you any of that of course, but um, yeah, the presentation is always lovely, so I just took it out like that, I haven't seen inside, it's been so long I actually forgot half of the stuff that I ordered so let's find out together and uh, let's see what's firstly here so it's a little card here of their shop and it just looks so gorgeous it has that kind of Japanese vintage feel to it I'm thinking is that actually their shop or a postcard of something else because it has a very strong Japanese style to it but it's so gorgeous and it just says thank you for your order and choosing keeping team Julia, Eleanor, Maddie, Francis, Alex and Sylvia. So it seems like, um, yeah, it says here independent shop. So it seems like a business owned and the address is 21 Tower Street, London. So I used to live in London a few years back before we moved to the countryside. So that feels pretty good. I didn't know about them back then maybe they're new I don't know so anyways uh, it's handwritten here thank you Alona which I can't show you because it's got my address on here quite a few things okay so let's dive into this then okay so first of all I have look at the packaging it's so pretty everything is packaged so nicely and it says here choosing keeping stationery these are the signature stickers so I got this pencil it's a yellow and it has this um, kind of like a floral print on it I don't know if you can see um, and it's black wing 3 it says so these pencils are the Palomero pencils and I really wanted to get one like particularly the black or the white I think the black I really like and I don't remember if I got it in this one doesn't look like it um, yeah so this is a volumes edition 3 so they come in different like editions these pencils but basically they're supposed to be really good and um, I wanted to have one and yeah I'm happy to have it so usually all the um, like graphic designers or fashion designers I have seen them use these pencils a lot these pencils are supposed to be really good for drawing and yeah and they're just kind of cool to look at really um, so a bit of a luxury item they're a little bit pricey but having said that this pencil was three pounds so uh, not that expensive but usually 
they get like the pencils are quite a bit more expensive uh, depending on which one you go for but yeah let's move on next thing oh so this is a sharpener I got a few sharpeners and I don't know if they're good or not so this is this is like a impulse um, purchase as they call it I was looking for some kind of neat sharpeners and I don't know if it's good, um, haven't seen it recommended, but but this one is by Coom. And I already have this pencil, which is, um, sorry, a sharpener, which is pretty good. I'll show you actually, I'll do like a comparison video. Um, I bought that one ages ago. So I wanted to have something that can sit on my desk and I just use it very quickly to sharpen. And I like the fact that the sharpen like bits um, collect in the bottle and let me just give it a go a little bit oh it feels very smooth like I don't have to add too much pressure and let's see while we're getting two we're not there yet so that's basically the idea and you can before you need to empty it you, you can use it quite a lot of times um, thinking what well, do I have piece of paper so I could give this a little go just to get the feeling I mean straight off it's hard to tell the difference between like a regular pencil and this pencil I told myself I'm not going to do any swatches today but it's that excitement that you get. Where are any pencils on my desk? Everything is gone. What's this one here? 2B. Let's compare that. Well, it seems that the graphite is more intense and to be honest with you, it feels a bit softer as well. The um, Palomino one. So that's probably the only difference. Now, I wonder how I would keep this because I wouldn't want the rubber to get dirty I don't know about you I'm someone who never likes to use the rubber the rubber for me is like the decoration part of the pencil so yeah usually I keep my pencils like this down I haven't figured out who needs to know that much information okay let's move on <laughs> um, next thing oh this is interesting I forgot to order this. So this is a drawing ink. This is so beautiful. Like, look at this. Oh my goodness. Isn't this just gorgeous? This feels like it came from some sort of old ship that was discovered at the bottom of the ocean. Do you know what I mean? It just has this artisan look to it I mean look at that have you ever seen anything like this the the cork top is notched in with a bit of a thread that has been like tied in such an articulate way and then kind of tightly it's held in place by this um, back seal it's just so beautiful so the color is Rosa Rosen said in two different languages Rosa Rosen so it says here not fountain pen friendly so I uh, bought it to use with my um, dip pens like this sort of a thing or you know the metal type of a thing like more traditional one something like that um, but yeah the good thing is with this type of thing you're not going to ruin any nibs so you can literally use any inks with that that will flow and the color looked really really pretty and what can I tell you about this so the brand is called Ab Abraxas writing and drawing ink so Abraxas like so um, and yeah, I'm just looking at it and being completely mesmerized. 
I would assume that to take off the lid I would have to like cut the thread here and then I could lift the lid. Beautiful. I mean just to look at and have it like that at my desk, if I could clear it up, <laughs> that would be quite a thing. Gorgeous. Right, so next thing. Everything is super well packaged, so it gets to you in a good condition. Um, I don't know if they... No, I do know. Yeah, they do deliver overseas. Um, so that's quite good. I got another porcelain dish. I don't think there can be too many porcelain dishes at all when you do watercolors. Um, when you use watercolors and so I haven't had a shape like this yet. The one I have is the typical flower one which is I believe three and three larger. Let me just pull it out. Yeah so this is the one that I have so it's got three petals and three petals and one in the center. Here you get four four and one which means that you get two extra colors which is great and it's also smaller so and the wells are less deep i love small things it just feels so good and um, i love working in these wells and mixing colors and things like that um yeah so quite happy i got that okay next thing we have Let's just move this bubble wrap. Oh, by the way, I just realized, I forgot to say, this is the 100 years anniversary um, sharpener, so it has a little bit of a special element to it as well. Okay, so next um, sharpener I got. I just kind of like the feeling of the metal one, so... I have this one, which feels a lot lighter, although it's bigger. This one feels super heavy. Like, it just feels... It's uh, it's called Bullet, Brass Bullet Pencil Sharpener. And I don't remember what brand it is, but it says it's made in Germany, which is already a very good sign. And, yeah, I'll do a video where I just compare my sharpeners, and then I can talk to you about them a bit more. But it feels good because it's so small. And I have a feeling the quality is going to be really good. So if I'm traveling one day again, as we all will do, hopefully, and then I can just kind of put it in my pencil case and have it with me. Okay, two things left. So, um, let's have a look. So this is what I have been waiting for so long. This is quite special. And so this little set set me back 25 pounds. And it is Japanese retro watercolor set. Now, this sort of reminds me a lot on Gansai Tambi and I don't know why. I was convinced that it was Gansai Tambi because I don't, I can't see, sorry, oops, it's stuck now in the lid. I can't see, can you read what this says? Is this upside down? This way, that way, I'm not entirely sure, but the box is beautiful. It's got a bit of gold on there. It doesn't say, like, there is no names to anything. I'm trying to lift a pan just to see if there is a color name or any name. So it just says made in Japan and then it's got that this here which again I have no idea what it is so I can't tell you what colors these are but I thought the color palette is beautiful. I will swatch it out for you. It's got that really retro look. And this particular set 
is the 70s set so set two there are two other colors there um and like is in two color palettes so a total of three and i really love this one like it just it's so beautifully retro i love this sort of mustardy color up against the blues and these yellows and the red and the grays the one seems to be warm the other cool and then this blue but yeah you have to see them in swatches to get a better idea um next thing this was the most pricey one if you need to know um but yeah so this was at the time when I didn't receive my Holbein pencils uh, as they were very late and I really wanted to treat myself to some pencils. So what I ended up doing was ordering these pencils and so these are the Tombow. The, it says here Irogiton pencils, 30 colored pencils and it's the part 3. So this is the seascape um, set and what that means is that there are different sets that you can get I got this one and it's got the dull tone the very pale tone and the fluorescent so you can play around with them and it says here irrigitin I don't know where it says tombow here um, maybe they are under tombow and irrigitin is just the line. If you know more, do let me know because there's a lot in Japanese, so I wouldn't know. So these are the colors, I assume, that you get in this set. So we got the pastels here, the super brides, and then the uh, neutrals. And the packaging is amazing. It looks like a book. So you get inside there and you take your little booklets out. <laughs> Oh my gosh, isn't that neat? It's just like perfect gift. Um, and then you get this beautiful little leaflet. Yeah, so they are by Tombow. I Ridgeton Color Dictionary. Yes, so they look like little books. And then I'm trying to figure out how to open this now. Oh, here we go. Wow, look at that. I've never tried Tombow pencils, so... Uh, the entire set is £50, so they must be good quality because, you know, otherwise, why would they charge so much, one would wonder. But, so these are the colours, so this is the bright set, it's called the fluorescence set, and I just love the presentation. This was totally treat, a, a total treat for myself. Then there is this one, which is very pale tone which is what I wanted when I didn't get the pastels. So I treated myself to these colors and they look quite different to what I have from the um, from the Holbein. So I will I will kind of swatch these out for you separately because just just there is just too much to get through otherwise. Lovely colors. So you get two, three, four, five. You get 10 pencils in each set, so that makes it 30 pencils altogether. And then the final is the dull tone set, and these are great for like neutral colors. So these are not water soluble, they're just regular color pencils. And yeah, look at those beautiful colors. So I'm looking forward to using them. I love that they are kind of off-white and then the color is at the end like that beautiful okay so that's it for today i am quite excited to play around with all these things do let me know what you'd like to see swatched out first because it would be uh, separate videos for all of them as there is just too much to get through otherwise and that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you soon.